on this class. Okay, so I'm going to mute everybody. Um, I'm going to mute everybody. Let me see if I can mute everybody. Where is the mute thing? It's posted up. Why is it? Why? This is Kathy. Hey, guys. Let me mute everybody, and then, Chris, you'll have to unmute yourself, okay? All right. Um, uh, okay, Chris, go ahead. You can unmute yours now. Uh, I unmuted you, Chris. You're good. I'm I just unmuted it. Oh, good. that's okay. So, guys, um, welcome to the call. It's it's recording now. As you come on, just kind of turn – you can turn your cameras off or they'll go off. If they, Usually they go off, but sometimes they don't. So, hey, Christy. Um, so, so, so guys, what we're going to learn tonight is, is Chris and I have been talking about this as we get, Hey, Michael, as we get closer and closer to, um, closer and closer to momentum, closer and closer to people knowing about this. I was sharing with Chris some, some amazing people that are coming into life vantage, um, today, um, what I'm going to share the last 15 minutes, I think you guys are going to be blown away by, um, this teaching that uh, this is the last law and then, then they're going to be tailored towards life vantage and it's going to be really great. But what I'm going to do is I'm first going to let the first 15 minutes, I'm going to let Chris Goodrow, Chris Godrow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, guys. <laughs> yeah, guys. So I'm going to let Chris take over and Chris is going to teach you guys a little bit about a course that um, he took that him and I are going to be really working extensively on this to bring you more of this as, as we come along. Hey, Greg, uh, as we come along, so that you guys can learn more about it as we go. Uh, and, and guys, go back and watch this at the recording uh, because um, Chris and I are gonna continue to let this evolve and we're gonna share, I'm gonna have him share in the upcoming weeks and stuff, things that we're doing. Um, and Jeff is the only one that can't hear, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> you can go back and listen to the replay. But um, so Chris, um, guys, if you guys don't know Chris, um, Chris lives in Toledo. Chris is a leader in our group. I, I think he's a very special person because him and I have had a great relationship uh, since he got involved. And, and I've been to Ohio several times. It's because of him and Jason. And, you know, when you're on the grid of a Pro 10, um, you're doing something right. And Chris reached the rank of Pro 3 last night. Congratulations to him publicly. And, and, and Chris, Chris, Chris has goals, you know, and he has leaders in his group that – that leads by example. So Chris is going to talk to us tonight about the do's and don'ts of social media and what he learned on a course. So Chris, I'm going to mute my, my line and you take it over, buddy. Appreciate you. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for the introduction. Appreciate that. And thanks for the congratulations on the pro three. It's been kind of a, a roller coaster as all of us on this call know we have a lot of ups and downs and finally things are starting to steady out and be more consistent. But um, yeah, I want to talk to you guys about this, this uh, story ad thing that I've come across and I've actually been diving into this for the last two months, but probably I think it was Tuesday night. It was really eye opening to me and it actually hit me to what I need to do. And I have something that I can share with everyone that I think is going to really blow up your business because the guy who taught this program actually put some people on a test pilot and the test pilot brought up some massive results. Um, how many people would be excited if you could actually bring in nine people into your business and rank advance twice in one month, all this within 30 days, just because of what he was taught from the system that this guy taught on Tuesday night. And I'm going to share with you guys. So if you haven't heard of it, it's called Facebook story ads. We're in multi-level marketing and in multi-level marketing. We're always told to tell your story, tell your story, facts, tell stories, sell. It's just this, the story Part of this business is what really drives and makes things happen. So Facebook story ads to me, when I first heard about it a couple of months, just kind of clicked in my head like, wow, how does this work? And how can I find out a way to make this efficient for me and everybody on my team? So there's three common goals that you want to do when you're looking at Facebook story ads. And, and that's to get people to comment and like your stuff. Uh, you want to get people to opt to either a website, a webinar or a phone call. And, you know, you got to use, there's, there's three components. There's a hook, there's the body, which is the storytelling. And then there's the call to action, which is you tell them what you want them to do. And then you'll deliver some information. So you have to figure out who's your ideal customer about this. So if you think about it, we have weight loss, we have, uh, we have pet tandem, we have 
um, probiotics, just whatever you think. And, and what does our products do to help people? You can actually, you're, you're going to have to create a business page or a fan page in order to make this happen. And let that business page or fan page be about you. It's your page. It's not Life Vantage's page or nobody else's. You're kind of branding yourself. This is going to start this branding cycle for you. And what you're going to do is, is you can actually place an ad targeting whatever you want to target. You, when you place the ad, Facebook will ask you what age groups you want to target, um, male or female or both, what countries. We're in nine countries. We could literally start targeting people all over the world while we're sleeping and while we're working. Facebook is going to post an ad. Whatever that ad is that you created, that story ad, they're going to post it all over the place in that target market that you set up on that Facebook ad. It's such a genius idea. Now you're going to, it's going to cost you a little bit, but it's, I'm literally telling you it's two, three, four, five, ten dollars $10 a day, whatever you want to do to help boost, boost that post more times and run it for like maybe four or five days and then have like a call to action. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples of what you have to do and how you want to decide on a story. I don't want to run too long here because I know Mike's got some teaching. So I'll try to get this done within about 10 minutes. The third party validation is really good for us. And it's also really great for this. So my first idea, my, my wheel started spinning a little bit. And how could I use my QE? Well, I can talk about how Mike has been in nutrition for nutritional field and training for 27 years and how he used to take 20 to 25 supplements. But now he found the one supplement that could do something that None of these supplements all combined can do. Now it's kind of like a little bit of a hook. And so I figured one of the most powerful stories and one of the most powerful people that I've ever met in Life Advantage is Paulette Schnipke and her daughter, Renee Miller. Those two have just been amazing. So I asked Paulette if she would be a guest, kind of a guest speaker caller for me on Wednesday night at eight o'clock. And she agreed to it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create an ad now. And my ad is going to start out like this. And this is the hook. This is what you want to draw people in to read more and then start to dive into the story. And if I start telling Paulette's story in this ad, people are really going to kind of connect with it. So the hook is when I first met this amazing woman, I was instantly one of her biggest fans. So I'm really kind of edifying her. I actually asked her, and then you want to add a little bit of the humor. Be likable. Be you. Uh, don't make it too serious, but just make it where people can relate to you. And I said that I actually asked her to please adopt me, laugh out loud. What happened next set me on an emotional trip that I'll never forget. And then this is where people click more to actually see the story. They, I just set it up with an emotional trip I'll never forget. People want to know her story and what she did or what she overcame. And then that's where I write all of that in the body. And then for the call of action... It's like, thankfully, Paulette was able to turn herself around because of, of, of her daughter's behalf and one very unique product. Because of this amazing journey, Paulette wants to share her story with the world and help anyone she can. So click the like button and comment more info, and I will share the info about the call she has agreed to do with me live Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. I will send the info via private message to your inbox. Come hear her amazing story and also what happened next to her son. You don't want to miss this call. So people are going to be excited if they read that story and they want to hear someone get real and emotional on that story and say, I boost this post. People are getting, on average, when they test piloted this, about 40 to 45 leads a day. Could you imagine people coming to you wanting to hear about your products or your service or your business and maybe boosting it five times out of that week and getting about 200 to 250 people liking or commenting on your, on your post. Now I throw them on a conference line call, which then turns into Paulette story with a mini launch call where I can, where I can now tell the life vantage story on top of the pro tandem story and talk about the ABC primetime video you have to see and, and all the patents and the studies that have been done by universities and PubMed even if you got 50 people to buy the product, you're just, you've now just boosted $2,000. And imagine what 40% commission looks like on that. And then how many more people you've drawn into your business. And then you can just keep doing this down the line over and over and over again. I mean, you could create so many, you could create four or five different ads in a month and, and have this much, much, this much traffic and, and keep switching it up from, from person to person. So this is, this is what we're working on. And if it sounds really confusing to you, it did for me in the beginning, but I can, I'd be more than happy to help you and work with you on this. 
and kind of give you an idea. And if you guys want to let me test pilot this for this week and then do the phone call, and let me tell you what the results were later on. I can do that as well. Uh, Chris, let's do so, this. Let's, let's see if anybody, if there's anybody before I move on, we've got about five more minutes. Let's, <laughs> let's see if anybody has any questions about it. Just, I, I don't want to go into too much detail because we're going to, yes. it's going to evolve, but is there anybody that, 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 would like to unmute their their mic and ask a question. Gary, you guys, anybody, anybody have any questions? Wendy, anybody, anybody, anybody? <laughs> yes, Mike, how do you get this training? Um, Chris, do you wanna talk about well, Yeah, the, the training, what I did is, and I'll give you, in the end here, I'll give you a quick example for a, of a hook of, well, of health and wellness and maybe a little bit of a body so you get an idea how we can use it in our market. But um, how, you, how I got this training was, and I'll keep my eye out for it again, but this guy does it randomly every so often, and it was about an hour and a half's worth of uh, webinar training that I did. And if I see him post that he's going to do another one, um, who, I don't know who that was that that said something, but we can tag them in that in that uh, it's Tammy. in that it's post. It's Tammy. And you can see. Tammy. Oh, Tammy. Okay, Tammy. Okay, yeah, Tammy. I can uh, I can tag you in it, or allow you, or or send you out the email that when they're going to do that. Uh, we're not going to do that because he did a replay, but the replay ended tonight. It was very quick. Guys, guys, I'll just tell you this. Guys, this guy, people that are, if you read the, the results that people are getting on his website, it, he has a validated website, which means people can't just go on there and say, hey, I did this and I got, he has like this validated website where people, actually you can see who the person is and you can contact them, okay? And people's yes. business people's businesses are explode like like I'm I'm just going to say this Chris and I've been talking about this so today me being in the fitness industry how many people have seen the the the, the type of link that Chris is talking about for the axis it's 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 remember when we were young Chris the the oh, yeah, you're you're still tennis. young you 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 roll you rolled out on you got on your knees and it had a wheel oh yes yes okay a, yes a wheel with hand, handles. handlebars yes for your stomach right Correct. for your abs oh, yes roller. there's an advanced one now it's called the axis this guy created it and guess what he did he did an ad just like Chris was just like Chris was talking about okay he 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 took this this piece of equipment and he made it so that it it, it it had a ball in the middle and it looks like a bosu ball and it's good for balance and core and guess what i clicked it on and watched the video okay <laughs> because it did exactly what chris talked about it was a hook and then it was a video and then he said mm -hmm. here you can click here for more information Fifty dollars off coupon. Learn more about it. Going to the next video. So, guys, this is just you treating your business like a business. Okay, uh, that's what's. That's why I tell when people tell me I couldn't do what you do. Yes, you can. You can do what I do. You can do what Chris does. Anybody can do this business because it just you just work. Chris works a full time job. Has a daughter, so he's learned. Is there anybody else that has questions? Real quick before we move on. You can unmute yourself if you want. Linda, did you have a question? No, I don't. Okay. This is gonna this is gonna eliminate so much prospecting time because the ads are gonna constantly run all day long, all week long. And so like, there's gonna be people seeing this. So you don't have to, you know, just imagine bringing in even 20 new people every single day from this. Every I mean, if month, you, if, every month it, Chris. Yeah, every month. It, like, here's a really quick example, and I'll let you get on to your thing, but here's a quick example for Hook and Wellness. So this is, this is how they started out. I ran into a friend the other day and almost didn't recognize her. How the heck did a mom of three carve out this bikini body and literally take years off her life in the process? I asked, and surely she was open to tell me. When she told me that she was doing a few simple and easy exercises that took 20 minutes a day, only three times a week, and combined it with a nutritional product that was all natural, eliminated cravings, and actually saved her money on groceries. And then it goes into a little bit further. Yeah. You know, so, you know, then she's like, thankfully, she shared everything with me. I'm already feeling great. I'm starting to see results. This has been such a great gift to me. I want to share it with others. 
if you want to know what we're doing and shedding pounds and enjoying tons of energy to do without crash diets or rigorous exercise programs, then just simply click uh, like and uh, comment more info. Chris, I'm going to tell you I did this today. I took Chris's advice. And you see my post about tripling your testosterone levels. And yes. Okay. And look at what you got. Guess, guess how many? Guess how many people contacted me? Thirty-six people. Oh my gosh. There you go. How do we get doing this, Michael? What's that, Mike? How do we do this? I'm interested. <laughs> well, I'll, Mike, I'll connect you with my. I'll connect you with Chris, and Chris can kind of yeah. Uh, uh -huh. okay. to, to let Thanks. people do that. So I'll I'll connect you guys more on that. On that. Is, is there anybody else that has questions? How much does it cost? You can you can put any dollar amount on your ad as you want. Um, what's going to happen is is that the more you put on, the more it boosts. So the guy said he literally he was a waiter that didn't have any money, and he built an eleven hundred person downline and actually was able to rank advance to the top earners in the company and, and won the Cabo trips back to back. And he said he literally started with five dollars. And then the more money you start making from this. Like one guy made $4,900 in his first month. The more money you start making from this, you start putting in more into the ads. Yeah, you put it back into the ads. which put is Put it back into the ads and keep brilliant. boosting more. It, yeah. It, it's, and then think about it. If you, if, you, if you make $16 off of a customer, you take that $16 and you use it back to put into ads. The three and, yes. said the three and four and dollar ads were the most effective. And you're not going to do them every day because you're going to no. have – you're going to have to have time to follow up with the amount of people that you, you, that, that come to you. So the, the, okay. So everybody's wanting to know more. So we'll, we're going to touch more on that. So Chris, thanks bro for uh, great job. Great, great job. Thanks for sharing. And I appreciate that, bro. All right. But he needs to mute. I'm having like major background noise. Let me make sure I'm mute. Um, Okay, there we go, perfect. Okay, so let's get started on the law of contribution. Guys, um, this law of contribution for me, I'm just gonna tell you was, um, was the best one, okay? And it started off with John saying, um, growing yourself enables you to grow others, okay? Um, and then, guys, and I'm just gonna tell you, that's me, okay? I've allowed myself in the last six months to, in really the last four months taking this course to grow tremendously. I even had some amazing uh, emails and messages this, this week from people that relationships have been restored and, and, and we're all human. We all make mistakes, but when we are growing and it's not about us, we're going to attract those type of people. So think about that when you're attracting those type of people to your business you're, you're going to attract the type of people um, by uh, Jason Egan. Okay. You, Jason just published it on, pushed it, pushed it on there. Um, so then John talked about, um, he talked about mentors in his life and he talked about his father and then it was great. He talked about guys, he talked about Benjamin Franklin and he said at a young age, he said every day, Benjamin Franklin did two things. And if you guys are taking notes, write this down. He said every day in the morning, he asked him, he, he asked himself, what good shall I do today? And then at nighttime, before he went to bed, he said, what good have I done today? So two questions he asked himself every single day, what good shall I do today? And what good have I done today? And, and to me guys, that I, I, I'm going to put that on my bulletin board in my room because I think it's important that as we grow, we use these things and put these things into action. So um, the next thing I really liked that, that John talked about was the second point on the, on this, this graph here. It says, um, if you want to do more, you have to become more. And he talked about a friend of his named um, Les Parrott, who was an author and guys, if you haven't had a chance to listen, uh, guys, but before I go on, Chris put his number on there. If you guys need his phone number, it's in the chat box. If you guys want to click that on. So uh, when, when Les was talking, Les Parrott was talking to John, he said, John asked him, why do you write books? Guys, this is, this is, this is the most powerful, powerful tool 
these courses. And we get to do this with John coming up when it's going to be related to us too. It said, I write books to influence people I will never get to know. Guys, you will, from this business, I have met people that because of this and because of my growth, people, I'm, I'm going to be able to touch people's lives that I didn't know and that I never would have known had I not said yes to this opportunity. So as people come into this business, certain people are going to be able to touch people and other people are not. And that's what I've learned about this through this growth. Um, and then he said, um, he said, one of the great things he said is the next point on this list here. He said, grow yourself and then give yourself away. And um, that's a huge thing because um, I think, and, and one of the reasons that I've been able to build certain relationships with people um, um, is that as they've grown, they've given their self to me as, an, as a friend and as a mentor. And now I've been able to take that and turn it back in. And I'm just going to use one of them as Brandon Cunningham. He's ever since, and, and I've got, you guys know this, I've told you before, I'm human. I've made a lot of mistakes in life, but I've learned that I think the greatest tool we have is learning from our mistakes and not going back to them. And, and, and Brandon and I have built a great relationship because he's poured into me and now I've been able to pour into others. Um, I believe the best days of not only my life and your life are ahead of us, especially being a part of this company. And so um, four, and then John talked about uh, four things that um, were the most important things for contribution. And you can see one of them. And, and this is where I'm going to share a story with you guys. I'm going to try not to cry. You guys, I already <laughs> cried with Lisa when she first came home. Um, when I was a young kid, there was a bus ministry that came to my house and picked us up and took us to church. And, and as I was growing, as I got older in life, I lived a very traumatic life. I lived in an alcoholic family um, where my dad was abusive and beat my mom. It was a terrible, terrible experience, but it made me a better person. You know, when people said I wouldn't graduate from high school and I graduated from college and went to graduate school and got two other degrees on top of that. But one of the things that I kept saying is I kept thinking, I've known John Maxwell sometime in my life. Okay, I'm sorry. I, 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 so today, on this law of growth, the first one where it says everybody has something to give, John talked about a guy named Brett Johnson. And then John said that he was a pastor of a church in Lancaster, Ohio. Guys, I live two minutes from that church. I began to realize that that very bus ministry that John Maxwell started in the late 70s was the bus that I rode every day to church as a seven-year-old and got to know God personally. So, um... <laughs> Forgive me, but I now know why John Maxwell was so, and where I knew him from was because he pastored a church in my hometown. That was the fastest growing church um, in, in the United States at that time. And it's, it's literally two to three minutes from, from my family where my mom lives right now. And so he talked about this guy, Brett Johnson. And Brett was, Brett was, an, was a guy that John said really, really, um, really, really, really bugged him and bugged his secretary every day to try to uh, get an appointment with John. And so he finally said, okay, I'll make an appointment. And Brett came in and he said, he said kind of condescendingly, what can I do for you, Brett? And he said, he said I, I don't think it's what you can do for me. There's really nothing you can do for me. I, I'd like to do something for you. And John said he, he, his, his demeanor changed. John said his own demeanor changed. He said, he said, what do you mean, Brett? He said, John, you know what I'd really like to do for you is I'd like to serve you. He said, I'd like to come to your office every Thursday and, and you make a list and whatever's on that list, I'll go that day and do it for you. Like if you need your car cleaned or dry cleaning or whatever it is, he said, I'll do it. He said, um, and he said, the guy did it for years after year after year. And then he said, the guy's, uh, Brett's uh, mother became John's secretary. 
And so he realized that everyone has something to give. And he said they began to, later on in life, they had moments where they weep together talking about this. And then he said, um, the second one was there on the list that says, you do for one what you wish you could do for many. And uh, I don't know if those of you that were in uh, Salt Lake City and you had the availability to hear John talk about the CEO of his company, um, his, his name is Mark Cole. And he said every time, every other month, John has a get together with his staff. And he said, Mark just takes notes, pages and pages of notes. And John said that for him, he, Mark is that person. Mark, he does for Mark and Mark does for many. And so think about that, you know, um, whether it's one person in your life that means the world to you, um, they can, can, can make an impact. And, and I'm going to share at the end one last story, but let me, let me get going so that I don't keep you guys too late. So be the number three was be the first to help to help. Who is going to step up, John said. So he said, the person that steps up to do things, I'm just going to use Chris. Chris is always yeah. wanting to step up and do things. He's always wanting to, he has, a, him and Jason have a meeting every, th every Tuesday night at, their, at, at his office. Chris is always wanting to step up to do things, have the meetings. That's why him and I have an amazing relationship because um, you know, Lisa and I were just asked uh, to take, Brandon asked us if we would take over Life Vantage Academy uh, here in Tampa. It's a privilege. We, we're, we're honored and humbled to be able to do that, but we really want to do that. So, um, and then he said he thought about when he was a captain of his basketball team in Circleville, Ohio, um, which is another 20 minutes from my house. But he said as a sophomore, the coach made him a captain. He said, John is always first to practice. Um, he's always first to, to do everything. And so he still has a relationship with this, with that coach till this day. And, uh, he said there was another guy named Bud Ludd who was John's first publisher of his books. Now guys, John's written over has sold over 28 million books. Blows my mind away. Uh, and, and this guy, Bud Ludd was his first producer. And he said, I'm not going to charge you anything. And he said, and then he, John laughed and said that Bud published books for John when only his mom would buy them. And, and so Bud stayed with him and Bud was with him for, for years and years. And um, then, he, then he talked about a story of a guy named Sam Moore, who was a cardiologist. And Sam, uh, one of uh, Bud Ludd brought Sam to meet John because he wanted to meet John because he had read several of his books. And he looked at John and he said, he said, John, you're not healthy. And John just, you know, cockingly and conceitingly said, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty healthy. And he said, no, John, you're not healthy. And he gave him his card and he said, if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to call. And John said, wow, that was a first to him. A doctor saying, if you need anything, you know, can you help me? And he said, will you help me? And he said, um, it, it, it really touched me because he said two months later, John had a massive heart attack and they couldn't find uh, a doctor on call to, to, to help him. And he said at two o'clock in the morning, his wife called Sam Moore and Sam set up a group of people to operate on John with a rare heart, the, a rare um, issue that he had. And they've been friends ever since. And he said, think about it. It's people who are first, first people to step up. And then number four on that list is we are to be a river, not a reservoir. Use the talents to bless others. Think about it. God's given you talents. If you've never taken a, a, one of my talents is teaching. Whenever I take a, a, a gifting test, it's teaching. And so I've learned to teach. And um, I'm, I, I love teaching. It's, it's, I'm surprised I didn't become a teacher because I always thought I might become a teacher. My wife is smiling. Um, but John talked about this. and I'm going to close with this. Uh, John talked about a young girl named Gabby um, from Paraguay. And John was speaking and she was listening to one of his teachings. And she was in the United States. And she said, uh, ask John to sign 
her passport. And, and she said, would you put one word on my passport? And John said, I'd never had anybody ask me to sign their passport. And so he, he put on their transformation. And he said, I want you to go back and to change your country. And he said, will you do that? And she said, yes, a very young impression will grow. And he said, six months later, um, she called John and said, hey, I, have, I, I want you to sign a book for the president of Paraguay. And John said, well, do you know him? And she said, no, but I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to. I'm going to go and get to know him. And so she went and, and finally met the president, and she gave him this book signed by John and said, I think if you read this book, that it will transform our country and it will, it will begin to um, teach our, our, our country to, to be leaders and to, to make a difference in them. And then she said, um, eight months later, um, the president of Paraguay invited John to his office. He said it wasn't going really well. And um, Gabby stepped in and said, started speaking in Spanish. And John said, I didn't really understand what she said. But the next thing I knew, the president was setting up a system for me to teach the people of Paraguay. And he said, over the next three to four years, 10% of the population of Paraguay was going through John's extensive training. And so he said, think about it. Think about had Gabby not taken John's advice, had she not been that type of leader. And, and to be honest with you guys, it's, it's the key driving force that allows somebody in this business to be, be a game changer, be a maker, whether you're a pro one or pro two or pro three, whatever level you are. Um, you know, um, Brandon and I were talking about this and I'll finish and let you guys go. Uh, we were talking about people that quit the, that, that, um, uh, quit the race. And we saw on, on the internet this week that two companies quit, uh, closed up, didn't even make it a year. And they, they, people were distracted. People got distracted from growth and from development and from what goes through pioneering something that's this significant. So my encouragement to you guys is, is, is if you have not signed up for this John Maxwell course, um, I just wanted to, I said this earlier before we got on, but I just want to publicly thank Paulette. You heard Chris talk about her. I know Renee is on and, um, 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 she, she texted me today and said, I've been going back over and listening to some of the teachings that you've recorded from these John Maxwell things. And it's got me super, super excited to take these courses because you have taught us all of these laws. So I hope they've been an encouragement to you guys. They've been a major encouragement to Lisa and I. They are on um, our YouTube page if you guys want to go back and, and listen to some of them to help you, you know, get ready to do this. But, but guys, um, we are, we just passed the 15th of the month. It's, it's a great month. Um, I, I want to encourage you guys to register for, for, um, uh, Life Vantage Academy in your area this weekend. A lot of people are, yeah, you got to do it tonight. Yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's a lot of you guys have not registered for, for Life Vantage Academy. Here in Tampa, we have Mark Shinsato. In Cleveland, you guys have Tyler Daniels, okay? Uh, so don't miss that. I, I know there's a lot of things going on. I'm going to be in Atlanta this weekend. I'm super excited about that, uh, doing meetings and doing some teachings and encouraging some people that, and some people that are excited to, to about what we're doing. So um, guys, thanks for being on tonight. I know I kept you five minutes extra, but um, we're, we're happy to lock arms with you guys. And if there's anything that we can do for any time, set up launch calls, my kinky. <laughs> yes, I hear you. I'm, I'm expecting a phone call from Jeff you, Lieber. Jeff, you, you guys. So um, let's, um, Let's get let's Cammy Hitner needs to. <laughs> I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. I did. <laughs> Cammy. <laughs>
guys, let's, let's, let, let's finish this month with uh, some excitement. Um, I'm, um, guys, I'll tell you this. These launch calls the last couple of weeks have just been amazing. Uh, the feedback, um, and, and we'll be able to use this information that Chris gave us to get people to a launch call, okay, to get people in front of it. It's just another tool in your tool belt. So everybody have an amazing night. Um, if you guys have issues tomorrow, if you need anything, I'm gonna be driving to Atlanta early in the morning. Um, and so I'll be there for a couple of days, I'll be available. But if you need anything, let me know. Guys, have a great weekend. God bless y'all.